in you. Yes, sir. See the spirit, the water, and the blood agree in one. Yes, we must go down in water and we identify with Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 6, verse 3 and 4 says we are buried with him through baptism. And like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also now. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah brother. Praise the Thank Lord. You, Lord Jesus. So when they asked that question, they said, what shall we do? And a lot of people say, what do I got to do? And people are walking and they'll be like, oh, just confess. You know, just say the sinner's prayer. But the apostles never had a sinner's prayer. I'm just being real. And I don't condemn nobody for a sinner's prayer because they're still confessing with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. But that's not what the apostles did. The apostles' message was clear. Repent, every one of you, first and foremost, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ exclusively. He said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So what causes a person to repent? Only the Spirit of God does. The Spirit of God will convict you. Hallelujah. And, you sorrow. and when the Spirit of God convicts you, that word chips away at your heart. Hallelujah. They take that heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And when he convicts you, it brings upon godly sorrow. Godly sorrow causes a person to acknowledge that he needs to repent. Hallelujah. And a lot of people might walk by, they might laugh, they might mock. But like I said, they mocked him first, my brother. <laughs> they mocked him first. The words say, the preaching of the gospel is foolish to those that are headed for destruction. But to us who are saved, it is the very power of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bear witness. And when you fill me with his spirit, I ain't never been the same. I came out that water. And the shift in my life happened. I ain't never been the same. And what he did for me, what he did for my brother right here, what he did for my brother right here, he can do for you. He can do for you. See, Jesus Christ stands at the door and knocks. And he's giving you a chance today to turn away. And it's a trip. Because we go into projects and people receive the word in the projects. But when we go to the side where people got, got the money, right, and they, they got all the things that this world has to offer, it's like they laugh and they keep walking, right? But what good is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul in the process? Yes, sir. The Bible says it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of heaven. And you see all the people that are walking by. Hallelujah. They live in these million dollar condos. They walk by and they laugh at us. Not knowing what God delivered us from. Not knowing that God delivered us, delivered us from some real dark stuff. Not knowing how real God is. If you only knew how real he is, if you only felt his love, if you only opened up the hell, if you only turned away today. He could touch you and set you free. Yes, Hallelujah. And build you back up on that rock. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is that rock. He is that rock. It is him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever so believe on him shall not perish. I have everlasting life. Yes, sir. See, God did not send his son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So we don't come here to condemn nobody. We just come to give you this truth. And that word is what pierces your heart. Because like I said, it's either heaven or hell. It's either Satan or Jesus Christ. God or the devil. Straight up. Good or bad. Hot or cold. If you look warm, he spit you out his mouth. I pray that somebody here today answers the call. We ain't come here for nothing. Because I do know one thing. While everybody's partying and getting drunk and getting high, his word is going into the atmosphere. And his word is a seed. And that word will never come back void. You know, everything will pass. Everyone go past, right? All this, these cars, everything. But one thing that would always remain is that word. That word. 
That word, yes, sir. Then he tore the sword. That, that word, Jesus. That Jesus. word, that word, that word. Praise God. Answer the call. Answer the call, y'all. I just come and share this with y'all. Because I love you. Yes, sir. Like if a truck is coming at you 100 miles per hour, I'm going to push you out the way because I don't want you to get ran over. Hey, there's something coming. It's coming. It's is coming. It's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. Jesus Christ is coming. He said, if you don't repent, he said, I will turn your candle. He said, I'll come quickly. Turn off your candlestick. See, John the Baptist, he was in the wilderness, crying out, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus Christ started his ministry, saying, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jonah was at the Nineveh, crying out, repent, repent, repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. The three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire, but they didn't get burned. Noah yes, built the ark. And I can imagine the people walking by and him saying, just get ready to rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. No one wanted to get in the ark. Right now, that ark is here. Jesus Christ is yeah. the ark. He has a door open right now. Amen. And you could get in that ark today. You could get in the ark today to be a part of the body of Christ. When the husband and the wife gets married, the wife takes on the husband's name. Yes, sir. We are the bride. And when he comes back, hallelujah, we must have his name. So when the wife and the husband gets married and she takes on his name, how do we take on his name? Galatians 3.27, those who have been baptized into Christ, put on Christ. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Those who have been baptized into Christ, put on Christ. Hallelujah. And it's funny now. It's hilarious now. We might look like some fools. We might look like some fools. Right? People think we crazy. Man, let me tell you something. You gonna be looking crazy on judgment day if you don't repent. Says he's gonna place the sheep on his right hand and the goat on his left. He's gonna turn to those on his right. He's going to say, come you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you for the foundation of the world. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's going to turn to those on his left. And he's going to say, depart from me. For I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. And to everlasting fire and brimstone. God bless you. So you better get right. God bless you, brother. If you don't want to get left, I bear witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. We are martyrs of Christ. We are martyrs of Christ. We ready to die for this gospel. We ready to die for this gospel. Yes. Hallelujah. This is real. This is real. When I was in the world, I was all in. How can I not be all in for the Lord? Yes, sir. He saved me. He spared me. Hallelujah, brother. And I will make it into heaven. I will make it into heaven. Bless you, brother. Jesus. Straight up. I ain't gonna compromise his word for nobody. I pray 